Um, I'd like to uh, um, add my thanks uh, to the work of the Alps team who pulled all this um, together um, and to, to Audrey um, who has taken over um, the, the, the chairmanship um, and, and the running of, of Alps um, the last last few months and I think she's doing a, a fabulous job and, and uh, the team has really really come together. I have to say those photographs I, I barely recognise some of them. I think um, I think they, they're, they're very flattering in some cases. Um, um, anyway, welcome to, to the Belfry. I was, I was supposed to liven you up so I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Welcome to the Belfry. Uh, welcome to Alps 40th anniversary, 1972. Um, I, w I was still at school. Um, uh, but that was, uh, and, and this is the fifth conference. I'm glad Audrey said that because I couldn't remember exactly what we got up to. It's the fifth conference. Um, Forty years. Some of you probably weren't born in this room, um, but I can remember going to um, my first publishing job um, at Academic Press, and there was this room that had this huge machine in it, and the machine was probably about four or five meters long and about two meters wide and you had to get special permission to use it. It was the photocopier. Um, and I then remember um, going to work in Barking um, and the fax machine appeared and looking at this machine and thinking it was utterly magic, the idea that a piece of paper could emerge from the other side of the planet. And I then went to Oxford and work for, for Pergamon, where you had to get a director's permission to send a fax because it was so expensive to send. Um, I also there met the first screaming modem, um, internet connections being, you had to get this thing, it had funny flashing lights and, and the modem screamed at you. Well, at least it worked, unlike this morning when the, when the email, uh, when the net went down here. But, um, and then there were diskettes and then there were CD-ROMs and, and optical disks. And, all through that, there were books and encyclopedias and, and abstracting and indexing journals. Do, do they still exist? Printed? I have no idea. They still do, yes. <laughs> yes, they still exist. Um, and there were two supply chains. There were the book supply chain and the journal supply chain, and there were hardly any touch points between the two. And now there are platforms that have got books and journals and all the other stuff all in one, one place. Um, over the weekend, I downloaded a thing called an app, um, Richard Dawkins' Magic of Reality app. If you've got kids, I highly recommend you download this. My kids love it. What a wonderful way of learning. It's just so, it's so accessible. Um, and the stuff that moves, the, the images move on, on, on the page, if you call a screen a page. Um, and and the sort of some of the other things, I mean, we, we've got a, we're about to launch a new graphing tool where you can change the graph yourself, simply by clicking. Can you imagine how things have come from the days when a photocopier would take up a whole of a room? Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to steal Mary, Mary Wharton's thunder on this, but, but isn't change fun? And I certainly feel very privileged to be in publishing at a time when there has been such fabulous change to actually make the job just great fun um, and to actually allow us to do what we should be doing which is to maximize the readership of our authors. And I sometimes feel we forget that. It's all about, isn't it, trying to connect the author with the readership. And now we can do that so much more um, effectively. Um, looking at the program, first of all, I have to thank the committee for putting together what I think is a fabulous program. Um, I was trying to pick out some themes. I think this afternoon's themes, it's all about new, new technologies, new trends, new ways of, of selling. Tomorrow, I picked out as a, it's all about change. There's changing in organizations, changing in copyright, changing in both discovery and, and delivery, which I think is going to be fabulous. And on Friday, we can't avoid it. It's about open. Um, and is this the end of the world? Um, which will be fascinating. I'm looking forward to that. But first, um, it's my great pleasure to introduce Mary Waltham. Um, Mary was president and uh, publisher for Nature. She was also the managing director for The Lancet. Um, and her, extend, her experience extends to textbooks, magazines, newsletters, journals, and open learning materials. I can think of no better person, person to launch this conference with her views on the past 40 years of scholarly publishing. Mary.